So a really exciting day for us here today at Tresham College because we've got Lee Brody from Collingwood has come in to uh, have a chat with us and the learners today. So let's hear it for Lee. Cheers, guys. So thank you very much for no, coming. No today, worries, Lee. no it's worries. It's a real privilege for us. And we're having uh, something of a, a landscape lighting masterclass. Now, you corrected me off camera because I used to think of this as being outdoor lighting, but we're not calling it that anymore. No, it's, it's landscape Landscape lighting. lighting, which sounds a lot nicer, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. It sounds a lot more professional. That's good. But just before we get to that, Lee, there's a bit of an innovative uh, new thing happening with your lighting, uh, and we can see an example of it over here. So what's happening uh, here? Can you talk us through this? Yeah, so these are our new EasyFit connectors. Yep. So it's two-part, and it's basically to aid install for you guys. So when you're doing your first fix, you'll put this bit up for first fix. You can do your testing, dead testing. Brilliant. Yeah, then with the product, the product will come with the connector already on it. So after all the decorating that's done, basically you click it in, push it home, yeah. job done. That is absolutely brilliant, isn't it? Because one of the small issues with LED lighting is mostly it's contained within the fit nowadays. So when you do your insulation resistance testing, you can cause damage to the fitting, get, get false readings yeah. and things like that. And this just basically solves that problem for us. Yeah, it comes with push fits as well. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, so we also sell it as a standalone as well. So if, you'd, if you've got a different product and you want to put it up quickly, you can buy it. It's a standalone That's absolutely two part connector. It? Yeah, really like that. That's fantastic. Anything that makes electricians' lives easier, we love, don't we, boys? Yeah, so that's absolutely fantastic. Right, so let's talk about some of this landscape lighting that we've got going on around us. Uh, so, first of all, I'll be honest with you, this does not look like something that would go in someone's garden. Yeah, so no. talk me through that, Lee. What's special about this? So, I don't know if you're aware, but um, soffit lighting mm -hmm. is getting really, really popular. Yeah. Um, a lot of the down lights on the market are only IP rated from the front and not from the back. Oh. So we've designed a product uh, which is IP rated from the front and from the back. This is IP65. It's salt water tested, so for Fantastic. coastal areas, it's perfect. Oh, wow. Um, and it's going to be released in the next two weeks, I think. Oh, two wow. or three weeks. So wow, so this isn't even on the market? No, yet. so wow. you're getting a sneak peek of this, guys. So that's really exciting. Um, but it doesn't, you don't have to use it just for soffits, yep. bathroom areas, anywhere yep. where. There's high moisture content. That's absolutely brilliant, yeah. And again, it just shows that extra level of thought that goes into it, because of course, you know, you can be all happy and you know, waterproof from yeah. the front, but if you've not got it at the back and it's in a roof space, again, it's not necessarily a moisture-free area. There might no. be issues going on there, so that's not going to uh, that's not going to let any any moisture in. So that's absolutely brilliant. Love that, Lee. Yeah, that's a really really good product. What else have we got going on? What else would you like to show you us about, today? Um, floodlights. Yes, I know absolutely. Gary loves the new floodlights. Absolutely, it's got a very and, and special. The fixing feature, this bracket, and actually what's really nice is this is sort of a double whammy of a video, because off camera, uh, Gary's waiting on tenter hooks with Dan from DSS Electrical. It's no big deal, you know, just two, two heavy hitters of the industry in one video, no problem. Um, and they're going to talk us through the actual kind of installation element of some of this, aren't yeah. they, while we talk about the, the sort of the, the features from a lighting point of view. So what's uh, special about this? this so light, this link? particular one, IP65, uh, it's Color switchable, so it goes from uh, warm white to natural white to cool white. Oh, so there's wow. a switch at the back. Um, oh, that's fantastic. <clears throat> it's also flicker free. I don't know if you guys have heard of flicker before. Um, so if you've got a video camera pointing onto a product and the product turns on, you see the lines that come across yeah. on the video. Yeah, so yeah, this is yeah. flicker free. So, oh, wow, brilliant. Um, if you've got cameras pointed to floodlights. Yep. Perfect. So this isn't going to uh, cause any interference with CCTV no. cameras, for example, no, yeah, on the outside of your home. Wow, that's fantastic. And I love that as well, that you can go from warm white, neutral white and cool white, just with a flick of a switch. Yeah. No kind of de-installation necessary. There's just a little flap here on the back that yeah. we open up. And, a, a and all, all the, um, the chips in, inside the lens are all designed in a way, so no matter what colour temperature you pick, the, the beam angle stays the same. Wow, that is really, really cool. I love that. That is really, really clever. So that's a, that's a lovely... Lovely bit of kit. I can see that coming in useful in all sorts of different areas. And it's just, it's a small point, but I think it's worth mentioning. I love the fact now we move into LED uh, floodlights like this. The packaging has got so much slimmer. Yep. You remember the old uh, halogen floodlights that we used to install, and it'd be sort of like three or four times the box of that, wouldn't it? It'd be quite, yep. quite deep. You think about the amount of uh, sort of carbon footprint that's reducing in terms of transport, packaging, 
all that sort of stuff. So that's a nice, nice side effect of the LED revolution, isn't it? I like that. So that's that's again, a, a brand new product. It's only been out a couple of months. Wow. Not a lot of people know about it. Exciting time. Well, hopefully more people know about it now, yeah? You can see a lot of faces out in the crowd there thinking, oh yeah, I can fit that around my house. Yeah, that'll be good. Good stuff. So moving on then, uh, we've got these lovely little fellas. What are these all about? Marker lights. So these are okay. our new marker lights. Yep. Yeah. Um, these ones are winding series. Okay. Yeah, they're one watt. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, and if you feel the weight of them, they're uh, oh, well, right. well, well made. Yeah. IP68, seven year guarantee with the product. That's fantastic. Um, so these are for, like, for walkways, so if you just want to light up little niche areas. Brilliant. And again, we're not going to get a lot of issues with the uh, sort of upward lighting, are we? So, no, are so this is literally a lot across the floor. Fantastic. So they're designed to be installed uh, flat to a surface like yes. that. Yeah, absolutely brilliant just to illuminate a walkway so we don't have the light pollution issues. And this is uh, the big brother. Wow, that's really so good. That's straight to veins, that one. That's brilliant, that is a lovely, it feels like a really, really yeah. good premium bit of kit as yeah. well. That's really nice, I love that. And once that's installed, and all you can see is just that lovely kind of mushroom stainless steel, is it, uh, sort of finish? Yeah, stainless steel 316, it's just the best. Absolutely beautiful that is, isn't it? Really, really yeah. nice, yeah. I think uh, I think that might look, look quite good on my decking, actually, so we'll so see. <laughs> just a little <laughs> tip, I don't know if you guys are aware, but if you pick a product up, um, you can tell if it's a straight to mains product or if it's not, oh, just right. by looking at the... The colours of the cores. That's interesting. So That's just a, really a little tip, point. if you're not sure about a product and you've got it in your hands and you go, oh, is it a straight to main, especially with LED, yeah. if you look at the actual cores, if it's low voltage, you know, it's going to be red and black. If it's mains, again, it's going to be brown, blue and, yeah. uh, and the earth. That's so. a really helpful tip, actually. Thanks for that. So obviously, if we were to connect that straight into a 230 volt supply, that's bye bye LED. That's absolutely yeah, it'll wrecked. Go, it'll go black. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the LED will go black. <laughs> yeah, we destroyed. Whereas this one, the driver and everything's actually you it can encapsulated actually see it. in. Yeah, yeah so the driver's so. built into the back. Yep, yeah, and that's so. encapsulated in resin there, so there's no moisture issues either. They're really nice. I love that. That's a that is a really nice. Again, these products right again are all, all new. Really, really good. All coming out. Okay. Um, next one. Yeah. Single source spike light. Yep. So we're switching, uh, well, I won't say we're going away, but uh, a lot of the new products that we supply now are all going to single source, so it'll be like one LED. Uh, a lot of the older products were tri-led, so there's three LEDs in there. So in, in our new catalogue, if you look at the, the wall lights and the spike lights, they're mm. all switching now. Oh, right. So What's the advantage of a single source LED then over there? So it, it's more aesthetics. Oh, right, okay. So a lot of people like the, the GU10 style. Right. So okay. we're switching yeah. because um, a lot of people are, uh, are trending to pick products that have got a single source. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't realise yeah. that. That's quite so, um, look, but that's they're nice. Yeah, really lovely. Again, that's yeah. a lovely bit of kit. And again, it's got a nice a nice feel to it, a nice weight to it. And of course, we've just learned a lesson, lads. Yeah, OK, we've got a black and a red conductor here. So what would we not do with that? Put it yeah, straight in the main, yeah. it's very good. See, they're learning. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's a learning experience. Well done. The <laughs> biggest issue right. I get on site is a, a contractor wire up a circuit, not realise that it's low voltage. So yeah. you wire it up as per and then yeah. turn it on and then that's it, game over. Fantastic. Yeah, hopefully uh, an electrician would see that and alarm bells would start ringing because he'd go, well, why is that not brown yeah. and blue? What's going on there? So that's really nice. Yeah, I love that. That's fantastic. Again, great for perhaps highlighting uh, maybe some landscape features, maybe a big old tree or something like that. Yeah. Look really nice lit from below or uh, maybe some uh, some nice old uh, brickwork or something like that. Yeah. Again, and would be really another nice. feature with the single source product is that you can run it on two outputs. Right. So you can run it at 350 milliamps. Yeah. And you can run it on 700 milliamps. So oh, if you want, yeah. want to run it at 700, it'd be twice as twice as bright. Ah, fantastic! Right, that's great. Oh, that's really useful. Yeah, flexibility. We love that. Really good. And moving down the table, there we've got something that I quite like the look of. So what have we got here? IP68 LED strip. Nice. Again, LED strips been is really really popular in the market mm. at the minute. Uh, a lot of people are moving to outdoor lighting. Yeah. And um, so we've um, updated the range of LED strip from. IP20 to IP44 to IP68. As well. Brilliant. Because of course, what we wouldn't want to be doing really is thinking IP44 will be okay outside. Yeah. Chances are it's not going to be okay no, outside. So if you I think. put it outside, it'll last about six months. Right. Oh, yeah. Which and, then, is and then it'll be dead. No good. So the IP68 just takes away those concerns of ingress again, doesn't it? Yeah. It comes in five meter reels. We've got um, four different color temperatures. Um, the driver doesn't need to be right next to the strip, it can be in a different location okay. as long as you 
picked the, the correct size cable. Fantastic. Yeah. Obviously, the further away, the bigger the cable you're going to need to put yeah, in. Yeah, okay, to so allow for the, the voltage bolt drop. Like yeah. yeah, lovely. Wow, well, what a, a fantastic range of products. So I think uh, these are really nice. And again, lads, you know, we're seeing new uh, bits of kit here. We're seeing new things that when you are out on site, these are the kind of things that you can expect to be installing and uh, expect to be, to be connecting up. And again, for me, this side of the industry, the lighting side of it, I think is one of the most fascinating. And especially at the moment, because we're seeing some of the biggest changes in the lighting industry that we've seen in, you know, sort of probably 30, 40 years. So yeah. it's a really exciting time to be an electrician at the moment. And we'd like to say thank you very much indeed to Lee no. for coming in to join us today. Thank you for your time. Thank you. <laughs>